to Nosco. I have a new deck profile for you guys. Um, I don't, I don't know if I can call it budget, but it's much budgeter than a complete Luar deck. So our starter is Lingering Night Revenger Conrad. That's a pretty cool name. So skill, um, you can activate whatever you want um, during your turn, obviously. Um, slap it into the soul. Discard a normal unit. Look at the top card of your deck, put it on the top or bottom, and then draw a card. And then if you have a face-up card in your G-Zone, you can give you a plus 5. So really good because you can pitch a 1 and then you have a chance to like and to draw something better. For Ritual. For ritual 3. So I'll do the triggers first. Um, we're running 12 crit. And 4 heal. All to the great ones. Like I've been playing with the deck, and I'm just like it is super consistent, even though it's twelve crit. Like the draw isn't real. The draw is nice. You can probably run like four draw or six draw, whatever you want. Uh, so four regular PGs. This is mainly just two TDs, so that's cheap already. And the two DDs together is already a decent deck. Uh, four generic PGs you can guard anything, Vanguard or Regard doesn't matter. Um. For Abyssal Owl, uh, he's like a dollar. So, on placement from hand, look at the top seven cards for a card with Lord in its name, add it to your hand, and then you shuffle the rest back in. And then you choose cards in your hand that equal up to a sum of three. So, two two, two and a one, three ones, or just a, th a generic three, and discard them. Um, only downside is, like, let's say it's not really good for fishing out a grade three if you're grade locked. Uh, unless you have other cards in your hand you can drop and it can sort of neg you So let's say you don't have anything else to drop you have this you call this you, you get it You have to dump the three you just added and it's just like oh, okay um, But it's a, it's a good card it goes, it goes off Top seven isn't really I would say it's generous, but it's alright And other skill ritual three when it uh, gets retired due to the effect of your unit was lured in its card name um, on flip one So, on to these. Uh, Drag Wizard Nice. Also from the TD, cheap. It should be cheap. Um, so, Ritual 3, when it's caught onto the rigor from the deck, um, if you have 3 or more Raid 1s, you get plus 2k. And the GP1, that's really great. Um, Counter Blast 1, it chooses another unit in the same column as him, so obviously the card is boosted. At the end of the battle, they boost the unit. You can Counter Blast 1, retire the unit, and draw a card. So you can put them in a column if you have ritual three that already makes a 16k column since they're both no 18k column since they're both nine, and then you can kill them, draw a card, and keep the one back into the deck. Great card, and it's a really um, high um, utility in the deck too. Uh, three uh, lead ball, uh, only not that it's a 6k, but other than that, I think it's a good card. Um, it's good if you want to combo combo it off with this. Uh, so, when it gets retired due to the effect of one of your cards, you pitch a card and draw a card. And it's not generation break, which is really nice. So, you can call this and this from the deck. It can be 15k or, or if you're or if you technically designed first, you can get a trigger, make it a 20k. Um, and it's just really nice. You just pitch and draw. You filter You filter the deck through a lot, so you trigger more better, more easily, more often. Um, you just put all the ones in the drop. Those are the great ones. Onto the great twos. Also from the TD, a really good card. Um, G um, act once per turn. GB one. You can soul blast one and choose another unit in the same column as it as um itself. Kill it and draw a card. And then again, it also works really good with this. Pitch it. You can draw two cards for pitching one. And it's ritual three that is not GB. Ritual three. And when this unit attacks, of anger it gets plus two K, making it an eleven. So we can hit the eleven K mark. Um, but just have this for now, because um, more festas are overpriced and overhyped, because they're at a whopping 30 bucks. Oh, not that. Um, four matchas. Um, GB1, when it's unit attacks of anger and it's being boosted, you can counter boss one, call a great from the deck. So it combo is really nice with nice. And let's say you call nice, or you already have nice, and it's um, nice is boosting her, you can counter boss one, kill this, and draw a card too. Um, it is a counter boss heavy deck, but. It helps him, you filter, you draw. Uh, running two from the TD. Um, direct owner, owner, uh, De Debra, De Depira, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what that is. 
So on placement, if you have more rearguards than your opponent, I believe, I think it's more, more than or, more than or equal to, you pitch a card and draw a card. So then again, that, that guy's a lot of pitching and drawing, pitching and drawing. Um, very nice. Um, filter is you dump blondes and stuff. You don't really need Strife Fathers because of Blue Ward. And I have this one as a little tech. Because you can reuse him. You can reuse everything in the deck because of Lord's um, Ritual 3 skill. I'll get to that later. Um, only not that it's a 3k. So if you write it, you, you might lose. So on placement of Rearguard, Count of Us 1, pitch a card, and draw 2. Uh, so really good, really good. Um, you just put it in the back. You don't want it to get hit. Because I'm... What I usually do, I put it in the back. I count of Us 1, pitch 1, draw 2. And then when I draw it, I eat this. So it makes it helpful. Or I leave it and then I eat something else. I put an ice behind it, so it's 9 3, making it 11. A 12, I think. Yeah, 12. And it's like, it, it can still hit. And then at the end, of the battle, retire it and draw a card. So, good card. Uh, I'm running four Lewards. Um, I only have this is proxy for now because I bought two TDs, but I pulled a hot stamp. So, I had, um, yeah, I had four Lewards, obviously. Uh, but I sold it because I was like, it was worth 25 and I think it still is. And sure, why not? Money. Um, so, great card. Um, only people tell that some people don't know is that you cannot use his Ritual 3 on Ride. Because it says beginning of Ride Face. You can do that, but you already wrote so it doesn't work. So, you still have to pitch cards in order to stride. If you win, if you roll Grade 3 second and, you're, and you want to stride. So, Ritual 3, at the beginning of your Ride Face, you can put, if you have three or more Grade 1s in your drop, Put two normal units to the bottom of your deck, and the next time you would stride, you can stride for free. So what's really nice about it is that, uh, let's say you have a game finishing play, or you think you do, um, you can put two back, ride, and then stride. That works. And then his on stride skill is really great. Catabas one, retire one of your unit, units, call two grade ones or lowers from your deck, and that's where you mainly call these guys. He basically, he's basically like that run the deck because he blow up everything. <clears throat> uh, two Diablos. Um, the, the hollows are like five. The commons are like two. Um, uh, amazing card, obviously. GB2, when you would try for a card that's Diablo in its original card name. Any, everything in your hand is plus three grade. So everything's a top deck. <laughs> um, and then on strike skill, one Phantom Blaster Dragon, Dark Dragon, Phantom Blaster Diablo Right. Retire one of your opponent's units. So it's a good combo piece. Your opponent has two units. You activate its ritual three. You ride, you stride, you don't have to worry about hand. Boom, you kill a unit. You most likely will have game unless they have G guards in their hand. That's what makes Diablo not so threatening now. And this is supposed to be a Claret Sword, but it's a Death Spray. And it also works with this too, like together, the combo pieces. Um, GB1, Catalyst 1, at the end of the battle, it's unit attack to Vanguard. Choose one of your units, retire it, and then you choose one of your opponent's units and kill it. And if you guys are wondering, this is the exact same thing as this, just that it's GB1, Ritual 3. It eats a unit bef um, beginning of battle, and then your opponent gets to choose. I like this better because they get to, you get to choose. So those are the great threes. I'm running seven great threes. So I just need two more great threes and the core's done. Uh, four Phantom Blaster Dragon Diablo. Uh, they're like 10 bucks, it's not that bad. Um, commons are 10, um, people are trying to sell them for 15, but don't do that. <laughs> um, amazing card. Uh, Counter Blast 1, get on public copy of itself, gets plus 10 in crate. Pretty good. And then it gets the auto ability, as long as you have two more face. It, it's basically GB2. Um, when you need to text Vanguard, eat three of your units, your opponent may retire two of theirs. If they don't, they can't guard from hand, but they can still G guard. Uh, four Carnivore Dragon, also from the TD. Amazing card, it pluses for free. It does like a better job. It's like, it's like a lot common card, but better. So, you retire one of your units, and your opponent is forced to retire two of their unit. That is not an option. They have to retire two. But let's say they only have um, one Regard. They still have to retire it, and then the additional effect of this, if they couldn't retire two, um, you can spread out 4k to the front row. So you can stack four, uh, 12,000 power on one unit, or just give 4,000 to each unit in the front, or give 8,000 one unit and 4,000 the other unit. So really nice. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Okay, it just shoots up to three units in the front row, and they get, and they all get plus 4k. So 
you can just, like I said, you can stop all the power on one unit, make it, make it big, make it fat. Uh, amazing card. Um, every deck profile I've seen, they always use one or two, like budget version of this sort of. Mainly everything's been budget. These are like $2, I just want to get a shiny one. The rare is like 50 cents. Um, yeah, amazing card. I've seen every deck profile. Um, I'll think just for my friends. Uh, they at least they always run one or two. It's a good first stride because it's like, oh, you have this, you're gonna have to retire too. It makes the opponent. Um, so we have generic stride, Atmos, Hana Tiger Vanger, Canada Swan plus 10,000, and three vanilla messiahs because messiah is cool. Um, what was I gonna say? You could run, um, Spectre of Diablo. I'm gonna get one, they're only they're 20 bucks, but I mean. You could pay a lot of money just for one card. You could run two, but I don't know why you would. I mean, you could, but it's whatever. I think it works much better in a pure Diablo build. Um, and I'm running... I already have Bridgie Guards. Uh, these are really expensive right now. Um, but they are 100% worth getting because the other G Guard that Shadow Paladins have is complete trash. Because um, it doesn't work with PGs and it's just complete trash. <laughs> uh, I bought these for $2 each. Like... Day, uh, the day after the city are released, is there? There are five dollars, but I bought them from a vendor for two dollars each, and then they spiked up all the way to seventeen dollars. But if you already have these, good, good job. Um, it's so it's hilarious. Like this is cards worse than Battle Boss of Diablo. Uh, um, one place on Guardian Circle. Ritual 3, if you have 3 or more great ones, it's plus 10,000 shields, all it does, it's just so good. Oh, boom, 36, sup, your Vanguard's 36,000 already, it's like, 3 to pass, 2 to pass. Uh, amazing card, um, is, is just free, too good. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, deck profile. I will be having, um, a complete Luar deck, um, soon, and then I will have an update of... A Dragonic Descent and Eradicator deck, and then I will bring you guys like three more Eradicator, no, two more in our Kami decks because I'm not gonna be able to finish the other one. Uh, they're gonna be fun little builds just to like screw around with people, like the Armor Break Dragon video I did. I got it, I think people liked that, it was fun. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the deck. Follow me to rate, comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.